see. Tell us something about, first of all, for the people who do not know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, we'll salimie, kwanza uwambie nafsi huru ni nani, and then we'll come to uhuru wa nafsi. And that documentary is amazing. It's breathtaking, incorporating the people who matter to you, the people who have seen you walk through this journey. Yeah. It is amazing. Thank you very much. Yela yela na 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 siyo rice ndani ya ikulu. Right. Live and direct ndani ya TV 47, Morning Cafe. Kankang, uhuru wa nafsi. Kankang unajua ni nini? Kankang ebu niyambia ni nini? Ile kankang minajua. Kula kankang, wacha tusisa ebu tuwendele. Kankang inamanisha hiyo imekamilika. Ok, saa wacha tuwambini ni hivu. Sasa album inaito uhuru wa nafsi na ni album mboko amba imenichukua mda kutengeza. Mda ni kama mda... Imenichukua miaka kama tatu. Ina ngoma ngapi? Iko na nyimbo 12. Kama kawaida album yeah. mostly huwa ni 12, yeah, eh? Yeah. 12. Yeah. All right. So imekuwa process mm -hmm. kwa sababu tulianza back in the day kukawa na challenges za uh, ku challenges za yeah. uh, kwa sababu pia corona ilikamini come in your time kwa na income stream zetu zikakatika zingine. Mm -hmm. So kulikuwa na hizo challenges kulikuwa na pia issue ya kwamba album ilikuwa mixed in Kenya ilikuwa mixed in TZ right. na jamaa moja anaitwa Chizan Brain. Chizan Brain ndo likuwa kwa kifanya zile projects za ukuflani mau mau. Mm. Sa hii anafamia album za kanao kina Vanessa Mde. Nice. Kina ata Diamond hamefanya kazi zake. Nani? Yani is big in TZ. Yeah. So we come from the same neighborhood. Alafu nili muapproach. Haka kubali. Hii nili neighborhood ya Magongo hili? Magongo. Chigo. Na kumuka. Eh, 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 also he's Kenyan but he's doing good I uh, you know in, yeah, in Tanzania. Yeah, ah yeah. okay. So we have one of the biggest studios in East Africa called Vanessa nice. Studios. Okay. So I approached him kwa sababu nili kwa nataka this album ikuwe na quality ile ambo ineza compete ata katika global platform. That's true. Juu pia the approach ambo nilifanya siku tumia tu producer ili ati yana nigongia beat alafu na rap. So likuwa tunaleta live instruments. Kuna kama saxophone inachezo live, guitarist alikuja studio, keyboard, everything was made out of spirit. So iku naisia nyingi sana yu album. Do kuna ngoma zingine one two one two za ile kubalance. Nilibidi nifanya hizo majamu kama kuna simba wa magongo, zoza hizo, likuwa kutuni vibe vibe. Lakini kuna nyimbo mbazo kwamba ni zaisia kwa sana katika hiyo album. Amazing. And I'm looking forward to that album. Honestly, si jaskiza. Yeah. I thought, I just wanted to feel the vibe sa zile ukuonea. If not, sa zile ukuonea. Yeah, yeah. Sa zile labda kulikuwa na launch and my apologies. Yeah, it was not as a launch, it, it was it a listening party. It was the listening party. Yeah, what was so I just invited guys, my friends, guys from the media, mm -hmm. na watu ambao kwa mba nangependa kufanya nao biyashara. Yeah. So ndolikamu wakasikiza, na it was a very nice event. Tulifanya hapo Cafe Deli. Yeah. Na turnout ilikuwa kwa amazing. That's good. Experience ilikuwa dope. Yani me pia, I felt proud of myself. Oh, that's nice. Yuna, it's a good start for the album. Mm -hmm. Though we are going to have a launch. So I'm going to perform a live band up. Oh, I have very to be there. Different experience. I make sure we make a list because you're time. See you. I'll have to be there, but of course I'll always create time. That should not be a problem. Na yosiku mimi pigia simu msini yache ni lale. Na simu pigia simu kutumia email. Eh, mtu pia email. Kila kitu mwakikisha ni mepuja. Sini yo. All right. So what does this? album mean to you now that you say na nyimbo nyingi ambazo zinahisia sana yeah. uh, nyimbo hizi umeziandika mwenyewe au umeandika kwa tofauti na unasema kwamba kuna watu ambao wamekulabu nao sio yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. kuna watu wawili watatu ambao tumefanya nao kolabu, kolabu kama Kalamoto mm -hmm. uh, Kev Mamba Mchizi Gaza mm -hmm. Masi JD kwenye chorus na instrumentalists mostly kama kina Jumatutu kina Mad Max kina uledi uzidze, one of the best basses hapa Kenya. Tuliko kuna Babs, guitarist. So hili kwa ni a dope experience. Mewa kuna producer na ito Ananda, a Kish Pro. Bado kuna best yangu na ito Labo Day Dowu. Mecheza trumpet hapo kwa ngome na ito I Wish. So hili kwa ni a very nice experience for me. Kusabu pia, I'm trying to introduce my new sound na mwena ito Swazi Pop. So it's, yeah, apart from, it's not just hip hop. Lakini ikona iyo, uswazi, na bado ikona live elements, so na fuse some jazz elements, kuna nini. So this will be a new one, swazi pop. Yeah, it's a new feel. Okay, and I'm looking forward again to that feel. Before we speak about the album and how expensive and how demanding an affair it can be, ewe tuzungumzie hii documentary mwanzo. Yeah, documentary. 10 minutes documentary, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iko 10 minutes, right? It was meant to be longer, lakini... 
hiyo 10 minutes ilikuwa iko iko perfect kwa sababu pia you perfect because my number is 10 by the way I was born on 10th of October so that's 10 10 mara mbili ah ilikuwa ile siku ya birthday yako sio yes ndio ni kwanza asante sana kwa keki ah karibu sana bado unaweza ukafanya ungesema tukupe mbili ya birthday na na ya listening party na tukua nyingine leo pia hakuna noma bwana hii ni sasa tumeke nyingine tutakula wakati wa launch sio eh because then again that you talk about your pressure kwamba unajua tunategemea launch sio eh so let's talk about the documentary and what got you thinking it would be necessary kutengeza hiyo documentary and also getting the view of the people who matter in yeah. your music journey and in your life in yeah. this documentary and what it is that they speak of you as an artist yeah i think uh tuli nili hiyo documentary imeshutiwa na jamaa anaitwa Jimmy Kahando mhm ambao kazi nzuri amfanya hapo yeah big up sana Jimmy na out of connect anatoka connect media okay. so tulikuwa tunafaa to work na connect yeah. so katika hiyo process tuka, tuka come up na hiyo idea ya ku shoot documentary mm -hmm. so we felt it was nice if i get the opinions of other people about what they think about my music and me as an artist yeah. so nika but nzuri mamangu alikuwa na alikuja Nairobi oh nice so okay. akawa ako na tukapata hiyo opportunity ya kumu interview mamangu hapo tulikuwa kuna ndugu zangu kama kina Sharama mm -hmm. kina Juma Tutu Budesco Fredia I'm born a DJ so getting his professional opinion very as a DJ was very important mm -hmm. as the other artists marapa wengine so ilikuwa kwa tu ni to to share with the people the opinion of people who've had the album before them so inaweza ku boost pia watu kuweza kusikiza mm -hmm. na kuweza kuwalewa the emotional attachment iko ndani ya hiyo album ina maana gani kuwapatia watu wengine tofauti labda ambao unatembea nao katika a safari yako ya muziki wao kusikiza nyimbo ambazo unaimba au ambazo unatunga kabla hazijatoka yeah. kabla hazijapikika kabisa kuiva kutokota ina maana gani kusikiza their view and, and wajua si tunaweza tukawa tunaangalia ile documentary maybe tunasikiza maneno yao tunaletwa kwa ile moment ya feeling but wewe kwako kama msanii a kwangu ni, ni muhimu kwa sababu napata opinion ya watu kabla sija release kwa dunia ushaona mm. so it's nice to get the, the other people's opinion ndo unajua where to get yourself unahisi yeah. kwamba wakati mwingine wanakuambia genuine opinion like genuine kabisa yeah. ya kwamba itakurejesha studio ukafanye uh, kitu tofauti i think kam, ukisikiza wewe mwenyewe una feel kwamba hao jamaa wote wameongea ni it's their honest opinion right. sababu hakuna 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 yani haijatungwa mm. mtu tu amejifungua akasema eh sharama akisema akiongea akasema kweli hivi na hivi msikie mm -hmm. jumatutu tumewak naye and it's his honest opinion vile yeah. and i feel about the the music so na for sure yani ni kazi ambayo mimi mwenyewe nimekelea a lot of investment in terms of art na my emotions mm -hmm. na nini so ni kitu ambacho kwamba iko tofauti na na ibeba na uzito kwa hivyo the same thing do ina kwa sababu if you put out this kind of energy the same energy is reciprocated back to you yeah that's true yeah, so ah. that's what i believe ni vizuri unazungumzia energy emotions resources yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, time inajua si ya kwa kupeke yako time ya watu wengi sana so that this you know 12 uh, 12 song Yeah. album sijui ni kizungu gani hiyo yani album ambayo iko tunasema ga 12 track 12 track, track. track asante yeah. <laughs> you know you know all that energy and all that time and up to this very point and then you can confidently and successfully say that you know this i can then release to the world yeah. in a video ngapi in a au, au ni audio mwanzo yeah. labda watu wategemee video kwa haraka gani uh, -huh. mm. uh video so far tume shoot one video inaitwa trust nobody trust nobody yeah mm -hmm. so trust nobody ndo tulifanya tume shoot na jamaa yangu anaitwa Sobuko Nonkwe mm. ni one of the best directors alafu pia ilikuwa kwa ni shoot mtaani tu hapo nje yani ilikuwa kwa ni kambo tu shoot lakini ika happen venye ile happen na i think Biggy Clover pengine ataicheza wa sewa zipate kuona ataicheza kama wewe si wewe yeah. yeah. so unazungumza Kiswahili wewe Uh, other videos niko kwa chika hiyo harakati ya kushoot more videos alafu pia album sija release to the public as okay. such for kwa hizo streaming platforms which iko exclusively on Asol Sas mm -hmm. so nataka watu wale ambao wako wana support real art waweze pata nafasi ya kuipata kabla dunia mm -hmm. so i'm giving them up to the end of this month okay. unaweza kununua album at asolsasa.shop okay. nafsi huru.asolsasa.shop hapo utapata album alafu 
38 ndo tutaanza sasa ku release kwa hizo ma Spotify na hizo oh, other platforms. Yeah, yeah. 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 So nafsihuru.nafsihuru.hustlesasa.shop. Uh, so someone can go there uh, yeah. and pata hizo ngoma zote 12 sio. Yeah, yeah. All right, amazing. And uh, once again I'm looking forward to that. Kwa hiyo hapa leo hatuna bahati. Bahati iko kwa sababu mko na Budesco Fred atuliongea tukaongea na Big Clover kufinya kwa hey, wakati so, bwana wewe achilia hey. achilia dunia isikia so budesco pia ame promote album katika watu wa kwanza Asana. so nashukuru sana kwa hiyo effort na album ako nayo so pia ataweza kurambishia rambishia watu wapate hisia usio vizuri vizuri kabisa kwa hiyo uh, sasa um, tuseme kuanzia Mr. Director Alright nasikia kwamba ni important to break mwanzo. I love yeah. to rejea. Sijui utarejea kusikiza muziki au utarejea na Budesco kidogo akuulize maswali mawili matatu. I love to jue mengi zaidi sio? Sure. After this break. Industries Limited wanakule How well do you know what's happening around you? Morning Cafe with heated political debates. Baraza la siasa. Hiyo kitu azungumzie, angalie hali ya maisha ya watu. Informative health discussions. Business, farming. Tasty Wednesday fitness thursday and feel good friday with the amazing dj's celebs waimbaji kuna comedians alafu kuna wajinga alafu kuna and music bands every monday to friday from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Well, do you know what's happening around you? Morning cafe with heated political debates. Baraza la siasa. Hiyo kitu azungumzie, angalie hali ya maisha ya watu. Informative health discussions. Business, farming. Tasty Wednesday, Fitness Thursday and Feel Good Friday with the amazing DJs, celebs. Waimbaji, kuna comedians Alafu kuna wajinga. Alafu kuna. And music bands every Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. How well do you know what's happening around you? Morning cafe with heated political debates. Baraza la siasa. Hiyo kitu azungumzie, angalie hali ya maisha ya watu. Au utaambia huyu kaka asalimie nafsi huru. Tuko na Budesco Budesco Fredia ako na Budesco Junior. Mjeuni kijana wangu sasa na shindo ganta ongea na yeye sasa ki TV ama nitaongea na yeye ki nyumbani. Muongele shaki ya nyumbani. I mean you see TV should be as natural as possible yeah. eh. Clover. So watu wasifike kwa TV. Eh, wanasema uongee manze. Wana shindo la leo eh. Siuliza swali mimi. Usiulize swali. Ah, na wewe siulize swali hata na kifua kwa hapa ni msanii. Eh? Hiyo career yako ilianzaje? Swali hilo. Mimi nikianza kwanza nilikuwa kwa mimi ni napenda muziki ile mbaya tangu nikiwa mtoto nilikuwa napenda muziki najua ngoma ikiimba naweza nika sing along yani faster so lakini nilikuwa kwa sijajikubali kama artist nilikuwa kwa tuna support watu so nilikuwa niko around kwa fulani skani fulani ilikuwa ni group yetu mm-hmm. so mimi nilikuwa kwa ni jamaa tu wa freestyle ile hey, nipe topic kuhusu kikombe tuna rap kuhusu kikombe oh. nipe topic nini so that was how i started lakini in 2012 ndo nikaamua This is what I want to do. Mm. Na nikashikilia tangu hizo siku mpaka leo tuko strong 10 years sasa hizi. Muziki unalipa? Muziki unalipa lakini paka mm-hmm. uwe na bidii. Mm. Eh, si si rahisi. Ni kama tu kazi nyingine yoyote. Ni kama mama mboga ukiwa na capital yako umeenda ukachukua vitu zako sokoni, mm-hmm. ukazileta sokoni ikikubalika inasonga. Mm. Usio. All right, kabla Budesco Fredia akuulize ile swali. Wewe unaona kwamba wasanii wanaangalia hiyo aspect ya kutoa album kama kitu kikubwa sana katika jani yao ya mziki. Yeah. Kwa nini? 
kwa sababu una make an artistic statement with your album na bado that's that's what what wataangalia track record yako itakuwa kwa indo indo ina 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 inaonesha wewe oh, umekuwa ukifanya mm. nini so utajajiwa na the pounds na the number of albums ume put out ndo maana unapata kila msanii ana bid hata kama unatoa singles hapa na pale ukitoa album it's a complete body of work na inakupatia watu wanaweza kuelewa wewe ni msanii wa aina gani mm-hmm. yeah. that's amazing budisco <laughs> Wewe wajua tumekuona kwa documentary. Kwa hiyo kama kuna mtu ambaye anamjua <laughs> nafsi huru zaidi ya sisi wote basi itakuwa ni wewe. Okay. Na maswali mengine ninapenda nimuulize lakini kwa sio muuliza hapo awali siku ile alikuja unia. Yeah. Kwa hiyo I think sasa tuko kwa level nyingine ambayo ni you know advanced level. Maana yeah. sasa huyu ni msanii amekoma. Kwa hiyo we want to release him to the world with the confidence that the world will definitely appreciate and that is not to say that he's not out in the world already. Yeah. He is. Yeah. Okay. I think first of all Uh, nafsi huru ako na 12 tracks na kwa hizo tracks zake zote mjua kwanza wewe umesema hujajisikiza mimi mm. siku yote nilirudia kwa zimekuwa nazo mm. na swali yenye iko kuna tracks zenye zime ni nice na kuna zingine zenye nataka kukuuliza mbona ali come up nayo mm. kwanza i think track yenye nilikuwa nimependa siku ya listen nini party ilikuwa ni hema lakini badala ni kuja kusikiza track zako nikabambika na Africa Simama. Yeah yeah. yeah. Africa Simama actually kis- Africa Simama huko pa ile last time ulikuja hapa kuna any yeah. of the music yenye ilikuwa kwa album hamna yeah, sio eh? Kuna any track. Ah okay. Africa Simama kuna Kadem ako hapo si ndio? Yeah. Ni ni kama kuna hiyo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Imenibamba sana. Yeah. I love trust nobody. Trust nobody imejua naongea ni kama true story. Mm. Yeah. Unaona? Mm-hmm. <laughs> eh, ukisikiza hiyo ngoma, unaona? Kwanza trust nobody nataka kumuuliza. Why trust nobody? Hebu tu explainie. Mtu kama kuna wao amejua juu tu naongelea nini? Eh, Kwa nini eh, ajui? Yaani yeah, anajua tu trust, trust nobody. Trust nobody. Ile, okay. Unaona? Ah, oh si trust ile au simuwa. Acha acha usikie, iko okay. deep. Okay. Ah, uh, hiyo ngoma? Yeah. Ilikuwa kwa ni feeling ambayo ilikuwa kwa kwa huo wakati kwa sababu katika maisha kila mtu wao unafika mahali una feel kama pengine uko betrayed ama una feel uko disappointed na ulikuwa na expectations flani from people so unapata unakaa ukitkaa peke yako kuna hiyo pain pengine una feel so nili feel naweza nika capture kwa sababu the, the concept of the whole album ni niweze ku capture different emotions ukisikia kama hema hema mm-hmm. watu wanacheka ushaona mm-hmm. kuna lost itakufanya usikie uzuni Zuni, yeah. kuna hiyo trust nobody kuna hiyo feeling ya anger mm-hmm. so na, na vent kuna ngoma kama simba wa magongo ni just tunasikia ra mm-hmm. kuna mm-hmm. so that's the, the, the whole concept of the apo hivi naona kuna mahaba eh hey, mahaba oh, pia ni si ambapo kwamba mimi bwana unajua hey, jaimba mahaba sasa tunaanza kuuliza kwa nini tunashuku tunakushuku yeah. sana tena <laughs> sio eh ni ipi ambayo wewe kwako inakuzungumzia zaidi na najua every of them umeweka roho yako hapo umeweka thoughts zako hapo lakini unajua kuna nyingine tu kawaida unapata la kwanza kwa zote nilijaribu kujiongelea sana mm-hmm. katika kila ngoma so ukiangalia kila ngoma ina hisia ambayo mimi niko nayo ndani yangu shaona mm-hmm. kuna kama ngoma ya kwanza ni nafasi yako ni ngoma ambayo na appreciate wazazi watoto wangu uh, ndugu zangu na marafiki mm-hmm. so it's a song ambayo unaweza ukadedicatea any person ambayo unataka nafasi yako katika maisha yangu ni muhimu mno hauna mfano mm-hmm. so kuna nyingine kama tuseme lost lost ilikuwa kwa ni experiences ambayo nimepitia ambazo kwamba zilikuwa zinaniweka chini so kwa huo wakati kuna time 2019 tulifanya music therapy classes mm-hmm. so for, kwa hiyo class tulikuwa tukiambiwa when you speak about your challenges unasaidia mtu mwingine hapa nje ambao kwamba anapitia the same thing ama worse ama even less yeah. so when you speak about it as an artist huyu jamaa unampromotisha na ana nini so the song nimekuwa nimeweza ku capture about my life vitu ambao kwamba zilikuwa zikihappen kwa huo wakati na it's a pia song niliona response yake hapo siku tukifanya listening party watu wengi wali resonate okay. nayo ah uh, which is a good thing also wacha niulize ili lingine uh, wakati mwingine unasema kwamba una engage watu tofauti alafu mnafanya collab nao yeah unapokuwa unazungumzia your story your journey you know vitu ambavyo vinahusiana na wewe sana ndio wakati mwingine ni equally the same with many people around you yeah. wale watu ambao wanakuja labda ukafanya collab nao huwa wanaichukulia vipi na inakuwaje what is the process of doing a collab with someone and getting them to understand what you want to pass at the end of the day and what makes you pick 
this person to say now this one akiingia ataleta the best of fusion uh, collaborations iko on a minimal kwa hiyo album uh -huh. sababu ulikuwa kwa ni vile nasema ni ngoma za hisia so unajua atwezi share the same feelings feelings yeah, yeah. so songs ambazo nime collaborate na watu ni kama ziko na general topic tuseme kama africa simama ni mfuche uh -huh. kala moto okay. africa simama is something ambayo kwamba as africans we all need to step up kwa sababu mahali tuko katika dunia in terms of all the races wa africa ndio huwa tuko tumeshika mkia siku zote mm. tukisema oye wa africa mnaleta nini kwa meza hmm. tunaga kitu kipya ambacho tunameka <laughs> sio <laughs> so hii song ambayo alikuwa anataka wa africa tusimame na kuna story ya hiyo colonization na nini so i thought kalamoto is also a pan african artist so nika feel ni poa nikimuinvite nikim nice. tukafanya na yeye that song song nyingine inaitwa raha tumefanya na gaza so raha is just about feeling happy so okay. yeah so ilikuwa kwa ni rahisi so it, the, the type of emotion ambayo ilikuwa najaribu ku spark ilikuwa kwa easy ku work na wasani when it is a general topic okay. but the songs ambazo kwamba ilikuwa kwa ni hisia zaidi ilikuwa kwa na work na instrumentalist so unapata Juma Tutu amecheza saxophone mm. ambayo inauiana na ile topic ambayo naongea so inazidi kupatia hiyo hisia zaidi labda itakuwa ni swali langu la mwisho Aha. mziki una nafasi gani katika jamii unapozungumzia Afrika simama unafikiri watu wakisikiza you know those ones that are real pan africanists yeah. you know, wakisikiza umziki fast utawazungumzia will they bring that change will they really bring that difference because we've seen people seeing year in year out yeah. na unavosema siku zote when we on the table tunauliza kimeleta nini mm. in as much as all the resources are in africa yeah. kwa kawaida tuliti lolote yeah. mm. so africa simama ita i think ita ita ita, kuf, ita kupatia insight on what you should do as an african or maybe kuna kwa sababu most of us don't know what's happening around us we are just blind ukishapat yani tumbo ndo kila kitu you just a slave of your stomach mm -hmm. so after hapo utaki kujali kuhusu our political environment our development as african community so katika hii ngoma tumeongelea hizi vitu design ambao kwamba mtu ukikaa kama uko na brain utakao utatafakari utaona mm. eh hey, kweli by the way kuna hivi na hivi na happen inafaa tuende hivi na vile mm. au sio alright fredia yeah first <laughs> nafsi huru yele yele leo niko na swali mob but about music but before umejua nafsi mimi nikikujua eh hey. nikujua anga kama muse kutengeneza ulikuwa na right magazine bado na right bado na right yeah. nice. eh, hata mimi ilikuwa kwa hiyo hiyo hizo magazine actually yeah. si ndio mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so umejua for me ngoma zako mu upenda ya maneno kama kuna ngoma kama hii i wish eh i wish ujaongelea i wish i wish kwanza ni one of my eh. favorites kwa hiyo na si nimekuuliza favorite yako ni ipi ukusema bwana wewe ni nini i wish unaona i wish ni nini i wish i had control of time I know right. Yeah. Uh, I wish like the Oh how I'd wish fly. that yeah. <laughs> Let loose and free my mind. Yani no stress yeah. even though that's the wishes. Yeah. The wishes of a man. Cuz imejua kuna wasi wana wana feel like I wish nile like someone ana regret. Yeah yeah. Like, yeah. Kama ushafanya kitu alafu unakuja una feel like ah oh, yeah yeah yeah. I should have done this different. Mm, no, no. Yeah. So umesema kwako umejua hizi ngoma most of the time tuna kama sisi ma DJs Yeah. Which at a when DJ. Yeah. You jamaa wenye wapi ni DJ. Oh yeah. yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. So su 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 fata ngoma na name. Mm. Like I wish hiyo ndio itakuwa kwa chorus. Okay. Yeah. Na hiyo ndio like kila mtu anajua. Mm -hmm. yeah. So ndio unapatanga nakumbuka yule mlami akisema kujua ngoma ni easy than kujua language. That's so anaweza anaweza imbaki kamba na yeye ni ni, ni, ni na hizi bonga kikamba exactly yeah, yeah. cuz umejua zina kuanga like chorus na kuanga repetition mm. yeah. kurudia tu maneno so kitu kama i wish mhm i love tena tunakuja hata tuna video lakini tuko na africa 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 i wish tungecheza africa simama eh hiyo yeah, ngoma naipenda so sana so you wish tungecheza ama ndio tutacheza haya so kosa tu cheza zote 12 but at least yeah. but but we can as well say wacha tusikize album kwani iko nini kwani iko nini kwani iko nini hiyo i wish umesema hebu fafanua vizuri yeah ama yeah, tupige tupige nini inaitwaje freestyle Yeah. Ukipiga freestyle tutajua. So we get a tune but I'm from a broken no me shin the mandom ninge cause on oh yeah. Time you spend alone, you spend alone my circle small all day. Nothing impossible and predictable the life it go out here. Never get emotional no way. But I gonna hope for all I pray. 
kwa maneuver lazima intelligence yes it tends hata nijipate kwa mess lenga stress mtemi mimi sipendi to test consequence victim of the wrong choices on boss yes me kwa process slow progress niki show progress giving my best niki bamba wenye test baby ndavi cover ile time nime west time nime west yoni pesa nime west yele yele labo do hapo kwenye trumpet mhm mm situanze basi kusikiza ngoma ama aje nafsi huru thank yela, you yela. so much you know what i am looking forward to have that album out to the world but i yeah. agree that still kuna a way that people can access that once again how aha uh -huh. nafsi huru dot hustle sasa dot shop alafu bado pia unaweza nitumia kwa namba yangu nikakuzia directly maybe mm -hmm. send it to your email ama whatsapp sasa kwa hiyo namba yako ndio namba yangu ni 0728 673242 iklova hizi shika hiyo namba ya 0738 na ah bwana wewe eh 072 0728 673 Uh-huh. Yeah. 0728 673 uh-huh. 342. All right, let's support uh, music and uh, Nafsi says that this is not just local music. Uh, another thing, can I, can, yes. I, can I say? Sure. Kesho kesho kutakuwa kuna No Way Out rap battle apo the mall Westlands rooftop. No Way Out. No rap Way Out rap battle limekuwa ikiape na cross Kenya. Yeah. Kulikuwa kuna Nakuru, Kisumu, Mombasa. So finals ni Saturday ya mboni kesho mm -hmm. from Sasita Mchana. Utakuwa hapo. Eh tuko hapo full. Mm -hmm. tickets. Bado na, tickets ni 1000 shillings only. Right. Utakuwa kuna MCs wabaya wabaya kala moto ndo host na Wise Guy Entertainment hapo. Mm -hmm. Na bado National Theater tutakuwa na Sharama kutakuwa na yeah, event National ya Mpenda eh. Yeah, eh inaitwa Five Elements of Hip Hop. Itakuwa hapo National Theater from Sasita pia. So pull. Yoni lini sasa? Kesho bado. Sasa wewe utakuwa wapi? Niko kote. Ah. Hey, yao watu wa hip hop pia kidogo. Nobody. Trust nobody I'm telling you at this rate I wish I could fly to this <laughs> place and to this other one. Eh eh. Hii ngoma ati kuhema unahema MC hey. unahema na ngoma moja unahema vipi baada ngoma moja MC uh -huh. da baada ngoma moja tu ha oh MC anafaa kuwa na i mean ndio tumeanza tu alafu unaanza kuhema hey, sasa unaona uh -huh. huo msanii anaitwa MC Oxygen uh -huh. alikama akajichocha nini alafu akakatikiwa na hema <laughs> Pia tupatie ni ngoma wewe Clover. Mzee umeongea umepeleka ma DJ hapo pia. Unajua? Eh. Nasema DJ, DJ nini? DJ DJ amesema hataki ku pull up. Kwa sababu msanii anamwambia pull up, pull up, anamwambia pull up 